You see, you and I are not too far from the Israelites. We were, we were born by a promise. Then we were enslaved by sin and our own foolish choices. And God sent a, a, a deliverer because he's a loving God. It wasn't this impersonal message. It was a personal deliverer in his own son. And freedom was won by the miracle of the cross and living the perfect life, dying the substitutionary atoning death, rising on the third day, conquering your greatest enemy, not Pharaoh, but death and sin and then making a way for you by grace through faith to leave oppression and slavery and bondage and journey toward the promised land where you will experience freedom for eternity in doing what you were made to do, namely worship the God who made you. That's freedom. And that's been made available to us through Jesus Christ. The problem is many of us who have been made to be free are still living as if we're slaves. Those of us who have been set free from the bondage of sin still choose to live under the yoke of sin. And God is going to say to us over the next 10 weeks, hey, look, I set you free that you might live free. God's beef with the Israelites wasn't that they weren't obeying enough rules. God's beef with the Israelites, his children and you, is that he had made a way for them to be free, and yet they were still living as slaves. God's heart for you in this series is that you might see how you've either been made to be free in Christ or you could be made to be free in Christ and then how to actually walk out that victory, walk out that freedom, walk out the blessing of being free from the bondage of sin that you and I so quickly and ridiculously run back to. We see it plainly with the Israelites. We rarely see it in our own life. 